Today we're talking about keys to being the difference, and today is episode 15 entitled, drumroll please, laughter. Dun, da, da, da. You probably saw that by the title, so you probably guessed it before I said it. But it is Fabulous Friday, and I thought, what better topic to talk about than laughter? Let's talk about a few quotes about laughter. Charlie Chaplin, there's a guy who knew a little bit about laughter. He said, a day without laughter is a day wasted. Man, how many times have we felt like, man, I, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste my day. I don't want to waste my life. Listen, if you're not laughing, you're wasting your time. <laughs> okay. Victor Hugo, he writes, Laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face. Now, you might be listening in some part of the globe, like, for example, Rio de Janeiro, and maybe it's 90 degrees there, and it's beautiful and sunny, and you're having a great time. But here in Chicago, it is, I think it's snowing right now. Indeed, it is snowing. It's uh, winter here. Laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face. We all need that for sure. Wayne Dyer, he's another great motivational speaker. He said that it is impossible for you to be angry and laugh at the same time. Anger and laughter are mutually exclusive and you have the power to choose either. So laughter is a choice. Lastly, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the uh, old comedian Milton Berle, but he said that laughter is an instant vacation. I love that uh, picture, that analogy, an instant vacation. Some of my greatest memories, especially with my dad, are times when we were just rip-roaring laughter. We, I remember one time specifically, we were uh, with my dad and my brother, and we were on a fishing trip, and we had just caught a whole bunch of fish, and we were in the uh, fish house uh, the cl where you clean the fish, you scale them and tear them all apart and stuff. Not a, not a very pretty job, and sometimes it can get a little boring. But we just started getting going on on this topic, and we were busting a gut laughing. It was so much fun. And, I mean, I just remember it like I, it was yesterday, and it was years and years and years ago. Uh, so laughter makes for incredible memories. Uh, even just last night, uh, my family and I, we were having a, a talk around the dinner table, and we were talking about some kind of, uh, you know, not necessarily heavy topics, but serious topics. And it just, man, things just started getting out of hand and it was rip uh, funny. I was almost in tears. I was laughing so hard. And I have to tell you, after the day that I had yesterday, that was such a welcome, welcome thing to laugh, to laugh to the point where you're crying. So uh, I want to encourage you today to laugh, to do what you, uh, to do what you can to uh, get, you know, I don't know what makes you laugh. If it's uh, the, the comics or watching, I know uh, my wife and I, we watch Jimmy Fallon. We watch The Tonight Show. That guy is hilarious. Uh, maybe, you know, Ellen DeGeneres, maybe she's one of your favorites. Um, uh, there's been times where I go on uh, YouTube and just look for comedians. Now, sometimes comedians can not be quite so funny, but the point is to seek it out, to seek out laughter. Now, I understand there's times where, uh, you know, sometimes laughter can be used to cover up some deeper things that are going on. So that's not, you know, maybe that's something to be aware of. Um, how do you know that laughter is one of the keys to being the difference? That's a great question. Have you ever known somebody who you you don't even, like when you see them, it's kind of like, oh, you almost want to go the other way because the person is like, do you ever smile? <laughs> is there ever a smile on your face, much less laughter? 
uh, laughter is something that just endears people. It draws you in. Uh, you can't help but to want to be around people that make you laugh. Uh, there's a good friend that I have who, um, unfortunately, he struggles uh, with depression and he's, um, you know, it's a, it's a serious clinical condition, yet he is one of the funniest people that I know. I love being around him because he makes me laugh. So here's the uh, encouragement for today is to just do something that you know will make you laugh, to, to get around people, to, to watch a funny uh, episode on TV, to, to read a book, to do something to get the laughter flowing. Don't make it forced, just let it happen naturally. Uh, lastly, I will say about laughter is just the sense that, uh, well, this comes from a book, I read a book uh, called The Art of Possibility. And in it, there's a chapter that just is, says basically, don't take yourself so seriously. And for me, that was great advice because I contend to just get to that point where it's like, Oh, I just take everything so seriously and laughter is the best medicine. So guys, hopefully this has been helpful for you on Fabulous Friday. I want to encourage you to go out and just have a fabulous day to laugh, to spread the laughter, to spread the joy, to spread your smile and your good cheer and your spirit to other people, other folks around you. Thank you for joining me here on the Petterscope. I'm here every weekday morning at 8.35 a.m. Central Time. For past episodes of the Petterscope, you can go to my website, stevepetterson.com, and check out all kinds of other cool things there as well. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and we'll catch you next week on the Petterscope with more keys to being the difference.